It's already cold outside, but if you have to go out, chances are you're going to need something more than just a big coat and a hat. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan shows you what else you're going to need. This is the time to make sure you're bundled up in all of your winter gear. So when my cousin said we were going ice skating, I thought uh, we were going to an indoor one. Because I thought that would be common sense, you know, on one of the coldest days of the year so far. And that is how Jacob Rowe ended up freezing at Fountain Square. I've got about uh, about three sweaters on, uh, like three pairs of pants, two pairs of socks. That's not enough. It's not enough is what's bringing people into Benchmark Outfitters in Blue Ash. What's the most important thing to consider? Layers. An inner layer for wicking sweat. Generally, I do like an active top or like a wolf t-shirt. A middle layer to retain body heat. You could go for a hoodie or something like that. And an outer layer that shields you from the elements. That's your winter coat. They're all going to be good in their own way. Some are going to have more features than others. But if it's cute and it's warm and you like it, I'd call it a good coat. But don't forget a thick hat, a neck warmer, gloves, and glove liners. You put on this under your glove and you'll be... You'll keep the heat for sure. Frostbite can set in quickly. The snow is cool, playing with that. Besides that, I don't like the cold. We met Jordan while he was geocaching downtown. I'm wearing two pants and two shirts, plus a jacket under this coat. And I'm still not, not like hot because it's so cold outside. One thing these kids love that also doubles as a hand warmer. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. If you do decide to head outdoors, maybe for some ice skating, the best advice beyond bundling up is to limit your time outdoors. In Fountain Square, Andrew Rohn, WCPO 9 News.